This is Mark Phelps reporting for AvWeb at EAA AirVenture 2024. Samson came to AirVenture this year with some big news and some big changes in its Switchblade flying car project. Let's see what's going on. I'm Sam Bosefield, CEO and founder of Samson Sky and builder of the Switchblade flying sports car. Well, here at uh, AirVenture 2024, the big news for Samson Sky and the Switchblade is that, of course, we flew last November 2023. Uh, for our maiden voyage, which was really special. It was really, really exciting. We validated a lot. We validated um, positive uh, control feel, positive control authority, uh, balance control feel, all the different things and flying qualities that we were looking for and call it a first flight. So what we didn't find was our top speed. And that's what we had to go back a little bit on the drawing board and figure out, okay, we didn't meet it, how can we? We did that inside of five months, had in the wind tunnel, our new design, keeping most of what we had, transferring that to the new version, and then perfecting what was left into what you have today and, and showing this year at, Osh at Oshkosh. So our design this time, and our attempt this time, was to take what we learned and what worked in our first model and go ahead and convert to a second model which handled the very few remaining uh, questions or issues that were, that were standing in the way of us in production. So we tackled that and in five months had a wind tunnel model verified through the wind tunnel that we had those issues handled and now we're going and launching into production with what you see behind me which protects the wings and tail completely on the ground. This is something that has not done before and we even weren't able to do it but now we have everything completely hidden on the ground so that if you leave it, go into a restaurant and you come back, you know no one has touched your flying surfaces or had access to them. Some of what we achieved was in the performance area. I mean, our main purpose of this redesign was to get our speed up to where we needed it to be for the high performance in both modes vehicle that the switchblade is. So to do that, we had to put the propulsors or thrusters or propellers out in free air. We accomplished that by placing them on the boom in a hybrid electric system where you have one motor, which is a generator, gas power generator, puts power to the propellers, the motors and the propellers, or down to the wheels for the ground. That hybrid system, in essence for us, is a way for us to bypass a transmission, which every time you change an engine or do something different there, you have to redesign the transmission as well. So this really helps us in the end. We use two motors in each of the pods for each propeller set. And so if you have, and each motor has two phases to it. So if you want to fail one side and go completely dark, you'll have to end up failing four portions of, the, of that side, and which is it's not unheard of, but it's nearly impossible to do. So that's one thing of the redundancy that we like. The other is that if, you, if it does go dark on one side completely, you have the other side that you can stay aloft on at 50% power. So our, our body design changed to reduce drag, and in the wind tunnel it performed just like we wanted it. Uh, we actually perfected a little bit more in the tunnel. That's a nice thing about a wind tunnel is you can add some track features to it while you're in there and see um, you know, how it can improve. So we improved it to what you see here, which is a nice sleek body design. Now it looks like a car, a pointy nose car, but a car on the ground, and it goes like crazy. This thing has gone over 125 miles an hour on the ground. I've been in it driving at 102, and I can tell you it really zips. Zero to 60 in 5.6 seconds. Uh, really be exciting for people on, uh, on the ground portion of things. We're hoping to be just the same in the air, and the wind tunnel validated that we should be able to reach our typical, what we'd say our, our control ground, our airspeed would be for cruise, 160 miles per hour. So now we're building three production prototypes. The first one will take about 12 months, and the second two, I think, in six months. Then we'll enter production after that, starting with uh, about 114 or so who pre-purchased the Switchblade, and that'll be the first year. The second year will start on our reservation list. Uh, those guys are, are wanting a Switchblade and are already on the list. So that's what we're going for production. Uh, and on the pricing, we started at $170,000 in 2019, including Builder Assist Program, which is a one-week program to do your part to build an experimental aircraft. But that's 2019. Since then, we've gone through an inflationary period. Uh, so we're going to try and keep the price in that same range, of course, but we can't do anything about inflation. That's just how much the dollar is worth. So our, we'll do our best to keep that price right where it is right now, if at all possible. 
So the response here today has been phenomenal. I mean, all week long so far, people have come in and looked at the switchblade, looked at the existing one, and they go, I really like what you've done. This is really amazing. So I'm very happy with the response. I think, you know, every year at our Air Venture, we try to come back with something that appeals to people and they can see that we've made progress. Who knows what we'll come up with for next Air Venture.